Hi guys, welcome to Santuario Miami Yoga. I'm Jenny, and today I'm gonna be guiding you through a little mini workout with a little yoga flow towards the end. Think of it as kind of like a warm-up workout cool down sort of situation. Um, as always, all you're gonna need is a mat and a great place to practice, no props or anything like that. If you like the video, if you're having a good time with me on the mat, please don't hesitate to like, to subscribe, and to support us, tell your friends, spread the word. And of course, if you're in the Miami area, stop by and take class with us at the studio. I'm actually filming at the studio today. It's gonna be my first one at the studio. Uh, I thought I'd let you guys take a look at where it is that we yoga. So when you're ready, get yourself on your mat and we're going to start in child's pose. So opening up the knees nice and wide, bringing maybe the big toes together, bringing the forehead down to the ground, reaching the arms forward. And we're just going to take about three cycles of breath here and you can kind of wiggle and move around and just settle into the space. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. This is going to be an active practice, right? This is more of a uh, workout, conscious movement workout, I'd like to say. So let's start with some active arms, some active fingertips, and a nice active breath. Two more rounds of breath. Big inhale. And big exhale. Again, big inhale. And big exhale. Good. We're going to slowly walk our hands over towards the right, just allowing yourself to get a little stretch through the left side body. Keep your fingertips nice and active for me. Keep reaching out through your fingers. You can keep your eyes closed for this part if it feels good. Let the hips settle onto the heels and just connect with what you're feeling on the left side of the body. So feel a little stretch there from the armpit to the hip. And then crawl the fingertips through the center, maybe reaching forward a little bit, finding some length and walking the hands over towards the left, connecting with a stretch between the armpit and the hip on the right side body, thinking about what the spine looks like and just creating some space as you open up through the right side. Good, and then really slowly crawl the hands back through to the center, forehead down to the ground. I want you to take one big deep breath in by the nose and clear it out by the mouth. So here we go, big inhale. Sigh it out. Okay, let's take an inhale, hinge forward, and we're gonna get right to business in a plank pose. So I want you to pop up into plank, Keep your feet about hips width distance. I typically ask you to keep your feet together, but let's do hips width distance. Ground down through your palms, through your fingertips, through your knuckles. So feel really strong through the hands as you press the floor away. Round a bit through the space between the shoulder blades, belly firm, booty tight, legs are strong. Activate through your feet, so feel all your foundations nice and strong. We're gonna inhale at the top of the plank. We're gonna shift forward, exhale down to a chaturanga, a little half push up. Inhale to the top of the plank, and exhale into your child's pose. So inhaling forward to plank, exhaling into chaturanga, inhaling to plank, exhaling to child's pose. And just flowing like that for another five times. Inhaling forward. If you can't come all the way down, just do a little mini push up. Inhale back, exhale into your child's pose. Good. You can also always inhale forward, hold plank, go through your rounds of breathing, and then exhale into your child's pose. Let's go for the last two full sets if you can. Inhale plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale plank, exhale child's pose. Last one. We're going to inhale forward plank, Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, plank, and exhale to down dog. So stepping back to your first down dog or pressing back to your first down dog. Pedal out the feet a couple times, wiggle things around, but use your breath to really help yourself settle into this dog. So we're not gonna stay here too long. I just want you to find a little bit of length through the backside body, so through the back of the leg, through the back of the spine. Continue to press the floor away, similar to what you were doing in your plank position. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and release it out. Beautiful. I want you to walk your hands about halfway um, back towards your feet. So you're in like this super mini down dog, right? We're going to take our right hand 
and reach for our left ankle. And we're going to come maybe to the fingertips of the left hand. And then very slowly, we're going to start to bend into the right arm and look underneath that left armpit or that left arm. Keep your legs strong if that's available. You can always put a little bend in the knee, no big deal. Connect with the stretching sensation you're feeling on the back of the legs. And lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the left side body as you roll your heart up. Perfect, let's swap it out. We're gonna let our right hand go forward, maybe fingertips, left hand will hook onto the right ankle, and then just really, really slowly start to pull gently as you look underneath your right arm up towards the ceiling, rolling the heart open. Legs are nice and sturdy and strong, belly is pulled in, make that space. Come a little bit deeper for three. For two. And on one, slowly release it, walking the hands back a little bit further. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, take a nice, deep forward fold. Good. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up all the way up, nice and big. We're going to find a little pistol grip when we hit the top, so release the index fingers. Take an inhale, lengthen, exhale over towards the right, nice and strong. And then inhale one more time, lengthen, and exhale down over towards the left. Good, inhale right back towards the center. And exhale, take a swan dive all the way back down. Good, we're gonna hook those big toes, middle and index fingers. Take an inhale, lengthen, shift the weight to the ball of the foot. And as you exhale, take a gentle forward fold. Or, you know, maybe you're feeling nice and, and flexible today and you can go a little bit deeper. Breathe here for three. For two. Lift the sits bones up, pull the lower belly in, shoulders away from the ears. Good, very slowly release that grip. Inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, walking it back out into your plank pose. Just finding a nice strong plank, adjusting your feet as you need to. Press the floor away and we're gonna roll through a couple more of those little plank push-ups. So inhale, top of your plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, top of your plank, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, top of your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, top of your plank. Exhale, child's pose. Perfect. Inhale, top of the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, top of the plank. Exhale, child's pose. And you're saying, Jenny, how many of these are we doing? We're going to do three more. Inhale, top of the plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, top of the plank. Exhale, child's pose. Good. Inhale, top of the plank. Exhale, down. Hug the elbows in. Belly strong. Inhale, up. Exhale, child's pose. Last one. Best one. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. So just like before, settling right into your down dog, pressing those heels down towards the ground, or, or energizing the heels down towards the ground, I like to say. We lift up the quadriceps, sending those hips up and back. Deep breath in. Exhale out. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg nice and high. You're going to bend your knee and open up your hip. Keep your left leg really nice and firm for me and try to square the shoulders off the best that you can. Think about your knee lifting as your right knee lifting as high towards the ceiling as you can. Remember, left leg is strong, right? We're not getting loose or lazy in the left leg. Take an inhale and come to the tips of your left toes. As you exhale, bring the right knee towards the right tricep, shifting forward. And I want us to just hold here, activating your right side obliques for three, for two. On one, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. We're going to take an inhale and extend the right arm all the way up towards the ceiling, taking a little twist. So pull the belly in, press down through the left hand, and reach all the way up. Perfect. And then we're going to bring the right hand down to the inside of the foot. I'm going to slide back, make sure you guys can see me. And step the left foot forward to meet the right foot. I want you to, before you release your hands, look down. Your heels are directly underneath your knees. Your knees are directly over your heels or your ankles. Your booty's about um, knee height. Your belly is going to be in. We're going to reach up and bring the hands right to the heart center. We're going to pull the tummy in nice and strong, and we're going to go for about 10 squats here. So when you're ready, inhale all the way up, pressing from the heels, standing up. Exhale, sit right back down. Notice how the knees stay behind the heels. Here we go. Nine, belly in. Eight, breath is easy. Seven, squeeze those buns of steel on the way up. Five, Breathe. Little deeper. Four. Three. 
two, and then hold low on one. So I want you to freeze it really low. Check again, booty is in line with knees. We're gonna bring the hands down to the floor. Crawl it out to a plank position. Press the floor away, give me a push up, and then send it back into your little squat, lifting the chest, praying the hands. Hands to the floor, walk it out. Push it up, crawl it back. Start to hone in on your, on your breath. Crawl it out, push it up, and walk it back. Perfect, same thing as before. You can walk it out to plank and just hold plank if you need the break. And then walk it back and lift the chest prayer of the hands. Walk it out, push it up, walk it back. We have five more, we're doing sets of 10. So here we go, walk it out, push it up, walk it back, and find your little squat. Good, don't get frustrated. If you need to take a break, you take a break. The key to building strength is not quitting, okay? So when things get tough, that's not the time to give up. Maybe you take a little pause and you say, you know what, I'm gonna hit up another one of those plank poses. Let's do it together for the last two. Maybe plank, maybe push up. Walk it back, find your squat, lift the chest. Take it back, walk it out, push it up. Walk it back, find your squat, and hold. Keep the booty at that knee level. Oh, those legs are starting to burn. We're gonna go for 10 little squats. Here we go. Inhale up, exhale down. Press from the heels. Nine, eight, belly firm. Seven, breathe. Six, focus. Five, four, keep sitting down nice and low. Three, almost there. Two, last one, we're gonna hold nice and low. Freeze it low for five. Almost there for four, for three, two. Listen carefully, we're gonna reach our hands back and kind of crab walk our feet in so that your feet are pretty much underneath your knees. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, fingers facing towards the feet. We're gonna do little toe taps. So we're gonna lower the tush and then we're gonna reach left hand, right toe. Lower the tush, inhale, right hand, left toe. Sets of tense, we have nine more. Let's go for nine. Breathe. This is a balancing act, right? So focus your eyes on one spot the same way you would do if you were in your favorite yoga pose and use that to keep your balance. Move with consciousness. That's the best advice I can give you for any of these workouts or any workout in general, right? You wanna think of how you're moving your body through space. People get injured because they just kind of throw their limbs around unconsciously. Engage where you need to engage. Move slow enough that you have control of your motions. Breathe, do not forget to breathe. Good, last three. Reach, last two. Reach, last one. Reach, and then set your tush right down on the floor. Wow, okay. We're gonna start with our feet on the ground. Hug the inner thighs, hug the knees, lift to the chest. So I always talk to you about this zipper of strength. I want you to zip yourself up with the zipper of strength from the pelvic floor right to the center of the chest. You can keep your hands behind you if you need the help, but I'd like you to think of holding a little medicine ball. So we're gonna hold the medicine ball and we're gonna lower down, reaching forward, and then lifting up, raising the medicine ball above the head. So lower all the way down, reaching forward. Inhale, bring it right up and over the head. Lower down. Bring it all the way back up, perfect. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So keep going with those. Again, if your hands are behind you, you'll just be lowering a little and lifting back up the best that you can, just until you feel like you don't need the hands there anymore and you have a little bit more strength through your core, okay? Well, let's go for the last two. Lower down and lift back up. Last one, lift back up. Bring your medicine ball right to the center of your chest. We're gonna lift the shins about parallel to the floor, hug the knees, hug the inner thighs. Chest up. Tap the medicine, medicine ball, the medicine ball, the medicine ball to the floor, and then bring it over to the other side. Twisting from the midline of your body. 
the same way you would do if you were in a yoga pose. So notice if like your hips are swaying or your legs are moving around and just try to hug those inner thighs, hug those knees, keep the chest up and breathe. Keep your chin up. That's a wonderful way to keep your chest up, right? When you tend to look down, everything droops and drips down. So when you look up, everything lifts up. Let's go for 10. Breathe. Nine. Hug the inner thighs. Eight. You have a bazillion dollar bill between your legs. You do not want to lose it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, good. I want you to hold the medicine ball, lower yourself down to the ground, lift the legs straight to the sky, and get rid of the medicine ball. Perfect, okay, so working a little bit of lower belly, we're gonna press the palms down into the floor. You're gonna flex your feet, toes towards your nose. If you're able to, keep your heels directly over your hips, awesome. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees, who cares, right? But do the best that you can, no matter where you are. So if the legs are straight, great. Palms to the ground, heavy down through the forearms. Inhale, lift your booty like you're doing a little reverse press and lower down as low as you can without lifting your tush off the floor, your lower back off the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. I want you to hug the knees into the chest on that last round. Give yourself a little hug. Those are always fun when they're done, right, huh? Hug the knees in and then start to rock and roll. So we're gonna just create some movement and we're gonna eventually end up in down dog. So when you get to the top, give me a little pause, cross the ankles, place your hands down to the ground and step straight back to your down dog for me. Stretching it out, coming right back to where we started, spreading the fingers out nice and wide, pressing the floor away and grounding down through the heels of your feet. Relax your neck, relax your face. Let's go left side. Take an inhale, lift that left leg nice and high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Keep the right leg nice and firm. Keep it really strong, squaring off the shoulders the best that you can. Think left knee as high up as I can towards the ceiling, left hip on top of right hip. Inhale to the tips of the toes on the right toe or the ball of the foot. And as you exhale, bring the left knee forward towards the left tricep and hold it there. So really contract those left side obliques, press the floor away, three, two, and then as gently as you can without making a sound, left foot to the outside of the hand. We're gonna keep our right hand down. Inhale, left arm extends all the way up, reaching towards the ceiling. Hug the navel in, press the floor away with the right hand. Back leg is nice and strong, perfect. We're gonna bring left hand down, step the right foot forward, and you're gonna meet me in your little squat. So heels in line, toes a little bit out, knees over heels, belly firm, Lift the chest, pull the tummy in, and press through your heels like you're digging little holes in the floor with your heels. Push down, and then we're gonna inhale, lift, and exhale down. Remember, there's only 10. So there's eight more now. Eight, I got your back. Seven, six, lengthen through the crown of your head. Five, four, three, squeeze your buns on the way up. Two, so really activate. One, hold it super low. Pull your tummy in again and freeze it. Five, four, three, you got this. Two, it's burning a little bit. That's what we want. Put the hands on the floor. Walk the hands out to your plank position and give me a push up. We have 10. So that was your first one. Lift up the chest when you come back into the squat. Hands down, walk it out. Nine, walk it back. Lift it up, shifting into the heels. Hands down, walk it out. Eight. Belly is in the whole time, right? We want to support the spine. And the tighter the body, the lighter the body. So we want those muscles nice and strong. You can alternate with the arms, with the hands, if you want to. On the next couple, try taking the hands wide. 
doing a little wide arm push up, lifting the chest. Breathe. Five more. Five. Belly super strong. Weight to the heels, chest up. Walk it out. Push it up. Walk it back. Lift it up. Perfect. Last three. Walk it out. Push it up. Walk it back. Lift the chest. Last two best two. Remember, they're the only two that matter. It's always just when we want to quit that we have to make that decision. I can do this. I've done harder things in my life. Breathe. Push up. Walk it back. Meet me in your little squat. Bring the hands to the heart center and hold for five. Woo. Four. Three. Two. Ten squats. Let's go. All the way to the top. Ten. Squat down. Nine. Eight. Breathe. Seven. Six. Squeeze the tush at the top. Five. Press from the heels. Four. Belly is in. Eyes on one spot. Three. Smile if you can. Two. Hold the one one. Freeze five. Four. Three. Two. Slowly lower your hands back behind you. Do your little crab walk out. So feet just about underneath knees. They can be out in front of them a little bit. Fingers towards the feet. Let's do right hand, left foot first. So drop the tush. L right hand, left foot. Ooh, a little coordination. Bring it back down. Here we go. Drop the tush. Go. Reach for your toes and press from the heels of your feet. Keep your body nice and strong. Keep your eyes focused on one spot. And I'm going to say it again. Breathe, right? Don't ever hold the breath. You got this. Six. Press up. Five. Reach for the toes the best that you can. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. Last round. All the way up, all the way up. Lower your booty to the ground, and let's hug the knees into the chest and give ourselves a nice hug. Good, bring the chest forward, kind of preparing yourself for the next round of abs. A Little bit different this time. Mm. Whenever you get that heart rate up, take a longer exhale. It's a really, really great way to just bring the heart rate down. It's something you can do off your mat as well if you're getting you know, overexcited at work or driving in traffic. Long exhale goes a long way. So let's interlace the fingers underneath the hamstrings. I know you're like, Jenny, shut up and just get me through this workout. So under the hamstrings, knees together, inner thighs together, lift your chest. Chest high, there's no compromise on that. Release the arms, re retaining the lift in the chest, and then straighten the legs if you can. Let's hold for five. Surrender to it. Absolutely allow yourself to be here in peace for three, for two. Come about halfway down on one. Reach through your toes. Find the place that you can balance. Keep the chest lifted. Energize through your fingertips and your toes. Hug your inner thighs. Breathe three. Breathe two. Come to your low hollow. Hold on one. So your lower rib taps the floor. Lower back is imprinted down. Your belly is nice and firm. Probably a little quivering, a little shaking for three. For two. On one, I want you to use your belly. Pull everything up to the top, cross the shins, and bring the knees as close to the chest as you can. Now, the trick is to control it back on the way down. Inhale, switch legs, bring it back up. Take it back down nice and long. Inhale, bring it back up. I want you to move slow so that you're not using momentum. Again, it's about the way we're kind of moving our body through space, right? And building this control and awareness of the way we walk, talk, and move. So right now, hopefully you're not talking. You're breathing. Let me do the talking for you. And let's go for five more rounds. Five. Four. Three. Two. Meet me at the top, hold it at the top. Place your hands down to the ground. Step back to plank pose. Meet me in your plank pose, and then we're gonna shift forward a couple of inches, lower all the way to the ground, and inhale to a nice full cobra, stretching out the abs, which is gonna feel just so good. So keeping everything strong and flexible, super important. 
Pull the tummy in, lift the hips up, and work your way back into your down dog. Taking a couple seconds if you want to to just pedal out your feet, wiggling out your neck a couple times. Okay, give me a little headbanger action. I want you to make sure you don't have any tension in your neck or your face from that little workout. Ground into the heels, press the floor away. Deep breath in. Deeper breath out. Deep breath in. Deeper breath out. Beautiful. On your next inhale, you're gonna lift your right leg nice and high, find a lot of length through the leg, and as you exhale, step your right foot forward right between your hands. We're gonna drop our back knee to the floor, untuck your toes, take an inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, let your eyes follow the fingertips until the palms come together. Heavy the hips down, activate your lower belly so that you're not dumping into your lower back, and then take an inhale, and as you exhale, very slowly release both hands down to the ground. Lift your back leg, straighten your front leg, and take a wide-legged pyramid pose. So look at how far you know, my back heel is off the floor. Don't worry about it, okay? Just drive the heel towards the ground the best that you can, and just let these hamstrings open up for you. Lead with the chest. Good, let's crawl everything um, towards the left or the right, whichever way you're going, so your toes are both facing in the same direction. We'll take an inhale, lengthen, and we'll take an exhale and just forward fold. And I like to just let gravity take over here. Let everything open up by itself without pulling or pushing. Just allow yourself to kind of hang loose. It's really important to, to have, you know, fluidity in the body, right? Just allowing yourself to move, having the space to do it, which is what we're working on. So take an inhale, lengthen the spine, crawl everything back towards the front of your mat. Lunge deep into your front leg. I want you to make sure that your right knee is directly over your right ankle. Your back leg is strong. We're going to take an inhale, sweep it all the way up, looking up towards the fingertips if you can. If your balance is off, just look forward. And then exhale, bring it right back down to the floor. Perfect. Frame the foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left foot. And let's roll through our first full vinyasa. So shift forward a couple of inches. Lower down slowly, elbows hugging in. Inhale through to your up dog. And exhale, pulling it into your down dog with the strength of your core. Settling into your dog when you get there. Relaxing the neck, relaxing the face. Take an inhale, lift the left leg nice and high. Find some length through the leg. And as you exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Drop the back knee, uncurl the toes. Inhale, sweep it up. So we stay here a little bit longer, right? The eyes follow the hands. We bring the palms together, and I want you to heavy the hips down, getting this really nice stretch through the front hip flexor, through the front quad. Keep the lower part of the tummy in. Perfect. And then very slowly release the hands down. Lift your back leg, straighten your front leg, and take that wide-legged pyramid pose. Let gravity help. Lead with your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Let's spin the toes forward, crawling everything forward. And this time, going a little bit deeper. We're going to hook the big toes, middle, and index fingers. Check that your heels are in one line. Your feet are just slightly pigeon-toed. We're going to inhale, create a lot of length and space. And we're going to exhale and take a nice forward fold assisting the hamstrings a little bit more. It's not just the obvious back of the leg stretch, right? It's also the back of the spine. Your ultimate goal is for your forehead or the crown of the head to be touching the floor right between the feet. Lift your hips up, pull your belly in. Breathe three. Shoulders away from ears, lengthen the neck, two. And on one, slowly release the grip, hands to the floor, crawl everything back towards the front of your mat, lunge deep into your front leg, your back heel is off the floor. Left knee is over, left ankle, belly is in, let's go for it. Sweep it all the way up with the strength of the core, looking up towards those fingertips, you got this, focus on your balance, and then slowly release the whole thing back down. Framing the foot with the hands, step the left foot back to meet the right foot, lower down nice and slow, inhaling through to your up dog, sending the chest forward, exhaling into your down dog taking a deep breath in a deeper breath out beautiful on the inhale lift your right leg nice and high bend your knee open up the hip keep the left leg nice and strong keep the shoulders nice and square take another inhale and as you exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and we're going to go for a little lizard lunge so another nice way to just stretch things out 
Heel in, toes a little bit out. Drop the back knee down to the floor. And then I like to shake a little bit, so a little maybe sway side to side, just to kind of open things up. You can stay on your hands, or you can come all the way down to your forearms. That's going to be what your body lets you do. You can tuck or untuck your back toes, depending on how you feel. But let's let the crown of the head drop down. You can also continue to sway and kind of rock side to side, allowing yourself to just open up gently. Never force or muscle your way into these postures. That's so important to learn how to do, right? Sometimes just because we can do something doesn't always mean we should do something. You hear me say that a lot because I see it every day in class, people struggling and fighting to get themselves into a place where maybe they just shouldn't be, right? Your body is your best teacher. Listen to it. It knows when you're going too far. Perfect. We're going to make our way right back onto our hands. We're going to tuck the back toes. Heel toe the front foot towards the center of your yoga mat. Take an inhale, lengthening through the spine. And as you exhale, sitting into a little half split. You'll drive your right hip back towards the, well, back. <laughs> you want to activate a bit through your right quadricep. Flex your foot and, and lead with the chest. So avoid this sensation of just rounding over, right? Find a long spine. Find length. Inhale. As you exhale, very slowly release. Shifting back into your front leg, lifting your back leg, and just stepping your left foot forward to meet your right foot. Forward fold to reset. We're going to take an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, find a lot of length, reaching out through your fingertips, and on the exhale, take a dive right back down through the center. Inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, plugging the hands into the floor, stepping to the top of your plank, going straight to down dog, or take a vinyasa if you feel it. Inhale through to your up dog. Exhaling into your down dog. Taking a deep breath in. And a deeper breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg nice and high. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Keep the right leg nice and strong. Keep your shoulders as squared off as you can. Take another big nice inhale. And as you exhale, your left foot steps to the outside of the left hand for another little lizard lunge. So heel in, toes out, sway back and forth if that helps you. Drop the back knee when you feel it. Untuck or keep the toes tucked. Come down to the forearms if you did on the other side. Relax the crown of the head down to the floor and relax. So take inventory of your body, right? Am I tensing? Am I forcing? Am I contracting my abdominal muscles? Am I forcing my way down? And start to soften some of those edges up. So start to really find that the exhale helps you to access some of that flexibility that sometimes we feel like we're never going to have. But it's there if you let yourself relax. Two more deep breaths. Good. Onto the hands if you were on your forearms. Tuck your back toes. Heel toe your front foot towards the center of the mat. Take an inhale to the tips of your fingertips. Send it forward. And as you exhale, sit into your half split. You might feel like you want to move your left heel forward. That's fine. Scooch it forward. And then drive that left hip back. Left quad is active. Foot is flexed. Inhale for length. And exhale, take your forward fold. Breathe. Try to keep the hips nice and squared off. Belly tucked in. Three. Two, and on one, hinge back into your front leg, lift your back leg, and step your back foot forward to meet your front foot. So right foot meets left foot. Take a forward fold and reset. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up nice and big. I think I made that more complicated than it had to be. Take a swan dive all the way forward. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plug the hands. Last vinyasa, step back into your plank. Shift forward, lower down slow. Inhale through to your up dog, sending the energy of the chest forward. Exhaling into your down dog. And let's take a big clearing breath together. So big inhale by your nose. Big in exhale by your mouth. Drop the knees to the floor. So we're going to end the same way we started. Knees wide, big toes together, forehead to the ground. Except that this time, I would like you to relax. 
So in the beginning of class, I was asking you to energize, to reach to your fingertips, knowing that you were moving into this energized workout practice. And here I just want you to let gravity take over and let everything settle down. The hips on the heels, the forehead to the floor. Arms are heavy. Two more rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to stay here longer if you like. Feel free to take a savasana if you like. But babies, that is it. So you got a little workout in. You got a little yoga in. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, keep following us. Keep hanging out with us if you do like what you see. Thanks for joining. Namaste.